Hey guys, it's Giant Nomad. Welcome to Giant Nomad Presents. And um, you know, today's podcast is really about setting yourself up for 2021. Like 2020 has been ridiculous. I'm sure things have not panned out the way you want them to pan out um, for the most part. Some people, um, a lot of people, even myself, you know, um, when I'm catching the Rona, that's right, I caught Rona and my whole family did. Um, we weren't being reckless, not like that. We definitely believe in the mask, but um, you know, uh, 2021 is, is approaching. We've got a couple more weeks left, and that's it. And then it's a whole new year. And I, you know, I'm, not, I'm never one to start something in the beginning of the year, and I just like to start when I want to start and let's say I'm get it done. And then that's kind of my year anniversary from there, right? So, but it's 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 now or never. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're middle age, you're, if you're hit, if you're already in your 40s, you know, you're 35 or 40, 43, whatever, it's it's time just to take charge. And what I found out, and this is for myself included, when I found out that I was kind of just running rogue. I had all these thoughts in my head and everything, you know, but I was just running rogue and trying to beat my day, but I had no plan, none, none whatsoever. So, you know, that's where this podcast comes into play because it's... It really hasn't been taught to us, especially if we're coming from where I come from, you know, coming from Brooklyn, from Best Eye, coming from the projects. You know, there's a lot of stuff I had to learn, man, that wasn't until later on. Um, there's a lot of stuff I had to learn on the job from other people. I had to learn by just listening to conversational stories of how people were raised and things and and how their parents implemented certain things for them and how, um, you know, I didn't have that, so I had no association with it. So I had to kind of discover and learn, you know. So, you know, this podcast is not going to be too long. But it's going to be kind of on point about, you know, the top five routines you need to have to excel, excel to, to, to you know, win every day to finally get on path and on track of what you really want to be doing. You know, a lot of us feel stuck. A lot of us are working. Hey, I got to, I'm going to, I'm going to stay this 30 year job. You're really going to go walk into a job every day for 30 fucking years and have no growth, but some maybe bullshit 401k over time and plan. No, 401k isn't promised, right? Beginning of the year. Everyone's 401k dropped. Now it picked back up and was happy, but what happens in 30 years, something like that happens again. And your money's gone. You have to set yourself up. You got to set your family up. But most importantly is you. So um, I've always, let me see you can see this. I've always employed the journal. I've always had a journal. You know, um, I've always stayed writing, you know, and um, it's always been something that I've always just done. But we're going to get down to it. And number one thing, write this down, guys. So if you're, gonna, if you're, if you're in, in your car listening to us on a train or a bus or whatever, you have your phone. Take down the notes you're listening to anyway. So open up your little note section in your iPhone. Open up your note section in your in your Android device And let's start writing stuff down You know you guys have calendars and shit You have reminders and shit And no one uses uses all these Free tools that come with your phone It's insane So, And some things here you're going to be like Yo I, I don't think I can do this but you're going to have to try You know what I'm saying You're going to have to really try and get down These are some of the things I'm going to start employing Into my routines daily now to really start getting my mind right and focusing on I me. Mean, let's, let's just get started. Let's just get started. You know what I'm saying? Number one, st stick with the routine. 
like everyone's strategy. And, and and hold on, before I even go down to that route, I gotta give a give a shout out to Evan Carmichael. I, I got all of this information from his um, YouTube channel. It's fantastic. You know, it's definitely about motivation and getting things done and routine. And 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 Evan had this five top five routines. Um, and this is this is from his website that I'm going to be following. And I had to share it with you guys. Um, his name is Evan Carmichael. Go to, uh, to YouTube, look him up. Go ahead and follow him. He's great. Um, but going back to routine number one, stick to a routine. Formulate a strategy. How many times you wake up to your day and you just start? There's 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 no plan. You just get up and you start going. I've been guilty. I'm man, I'm I've been guilty of this probably all my fucking life. I just get up and I go and rock, 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 rock hard, 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 rock, rock hard. And I run, 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 run. And man, I'm tired. Haven't really got much done, which is kind of weird, right? I'm running, running, running around doing things. I'm, I'm kind of being busy. And things are getting done, but it's not towards my goals. I'm not progressing in the areas that I want to progress in. Like, so I, I and like, and, and if you look at the video from Kevin Carmichael, his first person that's speaking, um, Talks about having a strategy, you know, think, act, eat, and rest. A lot of times we skip all that stuff. And it's something that we're going to have to really look at and decide what are we really going to do with our lives. And the first person, I I wish I know his name, but I've seen him motivational speak a couple of times. And his biggest thing was, are you going to be like a Gatling gun just spraying everybody? Or are you going to be more a precision person, like a sniper? You know, you, you one shot, one kill. You're taking your time. You're breathing. You're writing down what the wind is like. You know, you're taking into consideration the curvature of the earth. Um, you know, you have the scope for, for a better shot. Or are you just spraying every morning? Every morning you just get up and you just hopefully you hit something. You can't continue to go on that way. You're just running a fucking muck and you're hoping that something stays like you're throwing a bunch of darts on the wall, hoping one hits. You can't continue. I I can't continue going on that way. You know, I've been a mixture of how I always had calendars. I've used routines I've, I've been on and then I've fallen off of them. This is something you have to really employ a new behavior. To continue with your daily routine, if you know your routine is going to get you going and make something happen for you and you see the results from it, then by God, stick to it. Now, as you evolve and grow, your routine is going to evolve with that and you change it as such. But you got to find a routine that works for you and for your family. My routine and my 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 bullet items are not going to be your bullet items. That's why I'm not really talking about what I'm doing, but I'm talking about exactly the the general aspect of what I'm doing. You got to fill in your own details. You could be a single parent. You can be a, a you know a household with two parents. You can have one kid. You might have six kids. I don't know. So you got to put the details in there. You know, so you have to formulate your plan, do the math on it, and make it happen. So number one, stick to a routine, get real precision with your routine. Just don't go get up and run amok and just get your, just, just start. Like you have to really take your time and, and, and use your day and your time wisely. Number two, man, I'm not sure how we're going to get to number two. We're going to have to see how this goes because number two, don't get Hijacked by your phone And what do I mean by that Man we are all guilty of it If you have an iPhone I'm not sure Android has a number If you have an iPhone It tells you um, How many hours You're on your phone per day per week And I get it Your phone you know As we're building this routine And you're on a 
you know, you, you listen to my podcast, you're, you're writing down your routine on your phone. I get it. Your, your routine or your tool is your phone. Your phone should be a tool, not vice versa. You shouldn't be a tool for your phone. And at times we have to really get away. We have to. So this is what's been suggested. When you wake up in the morning, don't touch your phone. I'm not touching my phone for an hour in the morning. At all. I'm not looking at it. I'm not reading the news. None of it. For the first hour. I'm just going to get up, make sure I wash my ass, brush my teeth, you know, you know, get my breakfast ready. You know, just enjoy my space with myself and my headspace and my mental. You know what I'm saying? Because you're already on your phone. You're still you're still laying down. You're still vertical, horizontal. You know what I'm saying? You're still laying in your bed, and your phone's above your face, and and that's the first thing you're doing. You're not even really thinking about your spouse is next to you, your partner. You haven't said what's up to your kids yet or woke them up. But the first thing you're on, you're on your phone. You're already swiping, looking at Insta stories, liking stuff on Facebook, commenting. And you're giving all these people your time that is really meant for you. So it's crazy that we've allowed this, this mechanism for us to have communication to distract our days and, our, and, and use our time inefficiently. So whatever that time looks like for you in the morning, it could be five minutes. You know, if you're a real busy person and, you know, you're an entrepreneur and I get it, you have emails, you got put out fires in the morning, but you really deserve to put that time for yourself. For me, I'm doing an hour every morning. I'm doing an hour. That's it. Set it. If you, if you can give to yourself 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you can give yourself, just Make it happen for yourself. Now, the other part of it is also at night. I'm also going to put my phone down an hour before I go to bed. I don't want to be thinking and, and, and having all these stuff from the news with this COVID crap and the president and, you know, just stupid shit that happens on social media. And I don't want to go through it. I, I, I want to really kind of just kind of calibrate my night and be engaged with my family, be engaged with my own freaking self, with my own thoughts again. And also it's going to calm me because I'm not going to have any anxiety. I was like I said, or random thoughts on, on the last thing I've seen. The last thing I've seen is going to be maybe I'm kissing my wife goodnight or taking my kids in, or maybe I'm sharing, you uh, know, and a nice cup of coffee, me and my wife just chilling, just conversating. Like the communication could thrive again between you and your partner just by putting the phone down. So I'm doing an hour in the morning. I'm doing an hour in the evening. Again, your phone should be your tool. It should not hijack you to where it distracts you to the point to where you're wasting time and you're being inefficient about your day. 2021 is here, is a couple of weeks away. 2020 was a miserable fucking year. Some people did win, a lot of people fucking lost, a lot of people still losing, and they're gonna wind up still losing into 2021. So it's important that we go ahead and get these fucking routines down for ourselves so we can progress and go further. Number three, kind of talks about what I just hit upon. That last hour that I'm going to give up Number three is get more sleep Yo Give yourself a fucking curfew That's right, I fucking said it what's the, what's the whole thing about being up all fucking night Oh, I'm a night owl No, the fuck you're not You just slept all fucking day That's what happened Put yourself to bed Get a full eight hours of sleep and let's see how much more energy you're going to have during the day, how more healthier you're going to be. Because you're getting sleep, your body's recovering and your immune system is getting stronger. You know, sleep is so, so important. 
to your health. And so many people just have horrible sleeping practices or they can't sleep well at night at all. Once you start yourself and putting yourself to bed at a certain time, and it's not about being old or, oh my God, I'm feeling old. No, it's about being more productive about your day and about your health. If you want to have more days that you want to live, to have fun with your family, you need to have more sleep. That's the creatures we were made to be. We sleep. So why not? Why not make that happen? Why not, you know, just go ahead and take the time out. Give yourself a true schedule, a true routine on your sleeping pattern. Give yourself that fucking curfew. You know, I've been always known to be an early bird. And, and I get up super early. You know, I get up at 4 o'clock. I got up at 4 o'clock this morning. Yeah, I tell you, without my routine, I did absolutely shit. Had things in my head that I had to get done, right? But it wasn't truly a routine, and none of it was for me. None of it was for my health. And I could have took the time out if I had my routine to do my workout, you know, make myself a proper breakfast, a healthy breakfast. But I didn't. I, I right, right away ran into to my mechanism of just trying to get things done. I checked off this fucking list. But the list didn't really accomplish much. Like, yeah, I got the laundry done this morning. And yeah, you know, I kind of tidied up the house because the twins' birthday was the day before. And we kind of let them run amok a little bit. Then they've been you know, quarantined and stuff like that as well, you know, cooped up and they're homeschooling. But man, I, I should have had a better plan. And because I got up so early, I was still freaking tired. And then I'm taking naps throughout the day. That means I don't have the proper energy I'm looking for to sustain my day. If you're tired at work, you're tired going home, or you're falling asleep on your way to work, you do not get enough fucking sleep. Some people are like, oh, it's in my DNA and my mother and my father always stood up late. No, it's not. Get your eight hours of sleep. On the real, get yourself eight hours of sleep. Calm your freaking mind. Get yourself going. Number four, schedule everything. It's kind of been the whole thing, this whole podcast we've been speaking about, right? Schedule everything. Put yourself on a schedule, get your health in order, make time for your family, make time for your business. Schedule everything. I love the fact that now that I'm working from home, the podcast has been fantastic. So I'm making money off the podcast, you know, which, which is great to have a sponsor. So it's fantastic. YouTube channels come you know, has been coming up, getting that going. You know, I wrote a book two years ago, so I'm getting royalties from that from two years ago. I'm about to write another book. Um, you know, so it's like, man, it's fantastic to get up in the morning and make I make French toast for the kids this morning on a Monday morning. My wife was like, yo, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm making fresh toast. Doesn't have to be for the weekend. My kids deserve a healthy meal. They deserve, you know, something good to eat. So I made them fresh toast with some turkey bacon. What's wrong with that? But you got to take the time out. You got to schedule that time out. You got to make sure that everyone's good. You're good. If you see my post that I posted on IG, my stories, I went to go get myself a cup of coffee and the wife as well. I had the time for it. I'm recording this podcast right now. That was scheduled. I updated the, the photos on my Twitter and my Facebook on my header. That was all that was scheduled. Right. So these are all the things that you have to really get done. So number four, huge thing, guys. Number four, schedule everything. Schedule, get your health in order. 
make time for your family, then make time for your business. It's huge. All right, last but not least, number five. Win the morning, win the day. Let's say that together. Win the morning and you win the day. Take time out for yourself. Work out. Get your mind right. This is huge. I want you to do this. I'm going to start doing this. I haven't started yet. This is what I discovered you know, watching uh, Evan Carmichael um, top five routines. Name three things that you're grateful for. Name three things that you're grateful for every day. You take the time out, whether you spit them out, you write them down. Just take the time out and say, I am grateful for this. Again, guys, we've never been taught to use our time wisely. We've been taught from our parents, and they didn't know any better. Hey, get a job, stay there for 30 fucking years, get a pension, and then retire. And what does retire mean? Retire means pretty much you're going to be in your fucking death bed pretty quick. Because most people who retire do nothing, age really fast. When you see people who are active and, and alive and, and people who don't retire, and retirement is, is, is you're retiring from one thing. doesn't mean you don't, do, you don't start another thing. Like, I'm going to probably retire from the podcast one day. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna have something else lined up that I'm gonna jump into that I'm passionate about or wanna do. So you have to make that happen for yourself. You have to understand what retirement means. You have to want more for yourself. Is it a job? Is it a business? If you're so afraid of your business, and people are telling you, hey, girl, you need to keep on baking. You need to keep on making these cookies. You make the great, great cakes. Or, you know, I wanna buy them for you. And you have a little side hustle. And make you some money, then man, let's make it to a business instead of a hustle. But let's get back to win the morning, win the day. Start out workout routine. Let's get yourself healthy, man. Even if it's 30 freaking minutes, let's schedule that out. Take the time for yourself. Get your mind right. If you want to jump into meditation, you always want to, to, to look at it and, and 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 find out how to meditate better. Or I actually want to learn how to do breathing exercises. And I'm, I'm getting deeper into that. And man, it's relaxing. And it relaxes me the hell at nighttime. I fall right out doing my breathing exercises. I love it. Name three things that you're grateful for. That's powerful right there. That's powerful right there. How many times do you ever think about what you're grateful for? Not just when you go to church on Sunday and someone tell you to do it. You do it on your own. And you, you're presenting this energy and you're already starting your day. And I'm going to ask them to this, when your morning, when your day. My father was in the military. And he's gone now. He's in the army. And he constantly had me dress my bed as a kid, and I hated it. Every morning I had to dress my bed. And what he would say to me is, hey, this is the first task you've completed today. You've won. Now complete the rest of your tasks. I was like, wow. When I was a kid, I didn't I know what the hell he was telling me. I understand what he was saying, what he meant. But as I grew older and I could see you dressing my bed and people were like, wow, man, you really dress your bed. Your bed has to be dressed. I said, absolutely. Because it starts my day off. You ever come home to a messy bed? It really represents your life. Nothing's in order. Nothing's right. Things are chaotic. You didn't have the time. You didn't give yourself the time. I don't like jumping into a messy bed. It's something about jumping into a nicely dressed bed for me that just the pillows are nicely fluffed. You know, it feels great. It feels fantastic. But when you gotta try to unravel your blanket because it's just like contorted in six different ways and you're trying to kick it, it's not fun. It's not really comfortable. I think it's kind of tossing and turning and it's, it's not. But people, top five routines 
2021 goals. Let's not wait to January 1. Let's start today. Let's write these things out. And I, I'm i old school. I've always had journals. I've always had books. So I always write things out. I do have my iPhone. And guys, the iPhone or your Android comes with tools already that you don't have to buy. It's already, you know, you have your calendar app. You have reminders. You have a notepad in there. Use it. Now, if you want to finding a particular app that you like, then use that too. Whatever is going to help you, do you. Don't copy nobody else's shit. Just do you. But man, top five routines, 2021 goals. Guys, you got to make this happen. I want to hear from you. Do me a favor. Go ahead if you can. Give me a five-star rating. You know, I'm all over uh, iTunes and Spotify, all over the place, Google Podcasts. Let me know. Put your, put your, you know, some comments down below so I can know how I'm doing out there. And, um, guys, let's control our destiny. Let's make things happen for us, for ourselves, so that we can prosper at a greater time. I am out. Giant Nomad presents.